great morning, you guys. Great morning. Today is going to be an amazing day. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank God for who he is and what he's doing in our lives. Today I want to talk about, it's easy to get stuck in just going through the motion. It's easy to get stuck in just going through the motion. You may, you may wonder what I'm talking about. Let's go to the throne of grace, then we'll get into it, you guys. Turn this down just a little bit. I get my volume. What it says. All right, so, Father God, we come to your throne of grace with, with confidence, God. Thank you, God, just for your grace, your mercy, God. Thank you just for another amazing day. It shall be in your mighty and holy name, God. We thank you for your Holy Spirit right now. Increase like never before. We thank you for forgiving us for our sin, both known and unknown sins, God. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for our families and friends and loved ones. Continue, Lord Jesus, to allow us, Father God, to live in you, Father God, to, to increase, Father God, in your all contributions, God. Allow us, Father God, to, to live out the fruits of the Spirit right now, God. We surrender it all to you right now in the name of Jesus, God. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for your love, God. Thank you for allowing us to remember, uh, to celebrate your uh, sacrificial life, God. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for dying for our sins, Father God, and reuniting us back with God. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for communion today, God. We thank you, Lord Jesus, just for remembering your blood, God, and your body, God. Allow us, Father God, to not just go through the motion, Father God, but to focus on what you did for us, God. And we thank you, Lord Jesus, right now for all the things that you are going to do in our lives, God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for everything, God, the trials and tribulations, God, the pain, the heartaches, God, the suffering. Suffering, God, we cannot suffer no more than you did, God. So we thank you, Lord Jesus, just for suffering, God, that produces endurance, God. So we thank you, Lord Jesus, for your word every day, God. Continue, Lord Jesus, to allow us to live in unity, God, and be thankful for all things, God. Allow us to grow in you, God. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for being able to surrender with confidence, God, to your throne of grace, God. We lay everything, God. We cast our anxieties on you, Father God, because you care for us, God. So we thank you, Lord Jesus, right now for your love in this moment. This is our prayer to your son, Jesus' name. I do pray. Amen. So yeah, it's so easy to just get stuck in the moment. Let's go right into it, you guys. So today it talked about remember and celebrate. It says, Jesus took bread, gave thanks, and broke it, and gave to and gave it to them, saying, This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Luke 22 and 19. So make sure you guys read Luke 22, 14 through 23. Really just talking about communion and, and why and stuff like that. And uh, I remember y'all drinking um, <laughs> uh, at my older church and uh, my Andrew, I, where I'm from. Um, I remember seeing people get that, uh, the, get the wine, get the grape juice and the cracker, and I wasn't able to get it. That's before I got baptized. And I was like, man, I want to drink some wine and crackers too. So it felt so good just being able to get that wine, uh, the, the grape juice, and drink it. And and not really knowing the purpose of it. <laughs> so when I found out the purpose of it, and I really, you know, really didn't get into it till I really got here. This church, I mean, I remember them saying all the time, but I really did not focus on, you know, why we were drinking that and stuff like that. But I thank God for the reminder and the and the knowledge of knowing, you know, why we do communion. So it says on December 6, 1907, explosions rocked a small community in the U.S. state of West Virginia. It says, producing one of the worst disasters in the history of coal mining industry. It says, Psalms 360 miners were killed. And it's been estimated that this horrific tragedy left behind about 250 widows and 1,000 children without fathers. It says, historians maintain that the memorial service became the seedbed from which the celebration of Father's Day in the U.S. would eventually grow. Out of great loss came remembrance and eventually celebration. This is the greatest tragedy tragedy in human history occurred when human beings crucified their creator, you guys. Yet the dark moment also produced both remembrance and celebration. The night before he would go to the cross, guys, Jesus took the elements of Israel's Passover and created his own memorial celebration. Luke's record uh, describes the scene this way. And he took bread, gave thanks, and broke it, uh, and gave it to them, saying, This is my body 
given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. So that's basically, you know, why you do communion and stuff like that. So you read Luke in chapter 22, verses 14 to through 23, it will tell you more about it. It says, still today, whenever we take communion, we honor his great unflinching love for us, remembering the cost of our rescue and celebrating the gift of life his sacrifice produced. It says, as Charles Wesley said in his great hymn, Amazing Love, how can it be that thou, my God, shouldest die for me? So the reflection today is, how often do you find yourself just going through the motions when taking communion? What are some ways to keep your focus on the cross? Man, I have to focus on, on God. I have to go deep into deep into it. I have to get into it. Because if not, I'm just going to drink that wild uh, grapefruit juice and, and my mind be focused on how good it is and how much more I need. <laughs> and the, the bread also, it, the, the car can be so good, you guys. And so what I have to do, I have to just close my eyes just focus in and try to meditate on the word and meditate on the sacrificial life that God died, that Jesus died on the cross for us and our sins. And he, and this is just to remember, you know, uh, he wants to remember how, what he did for us. And um, I just thank God so much for that. So that's how I really keep my mind on it. And it's okay, you know, it's, uh, it's so easy to get you know, just to go through the motion if you do it so many times, so often. It's easy to go through the motion with anything. Like, sometimes I get in this room, man, and I'm like, man, I don't want to go through this. And sometimes I just be reading and reading. I don't be understanding. I have to go back uh, and read it slowly. And, like, I pronounce every word and say every word slowly. And i like, okay, this is what's going on. And sometimes I still don't don't get it, but God always give it to me some way. And I always had a problem, you know, with, with comprehending sometimes, but Sometimes it comes, sometimes it don't. I'm just thankful when it come and I'm thankful, you know, when it don't and when he breaks it, breaks it down to me. So if you guys have problems with that, man, trust me, I have uh, problems with it. But I still don't let that stop me from doing what I and sharing what I know. So uh, remember, you guys, um, to celebrate uh, Jesus' life, man, Jesus' sacrifice for us. So let's go to the throne of grace. Then we're going to close out, you guys. Let's pray. Father, when we come to the memorial table, help us to remember why our forgiveness was so costly and help us to celebrate your great, awesome love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, you guys. All right, you guys. I love you all. God loves you more. Have a fantastic day in the mighty name of Jesus. If you got me, I mean, if y'all... Um, if you need me, I got you guys. Uh, and just remember to celebrate uh, Jesus' sacrificial life. All right, guys. Have a fantastic day.